And I want to thank the Aggies for hosting us uh, here today. And historically, black colleges and universities are an example of finding mechanisms to carve out a better life uh, for future generations. This institution is a testament to perseverance and not being defeated. Now, you, you grew up near each other in, in North Carolina. Which Greensboro, is a, North Carolina. Greensboro, North Carolina. There's a great college there named North Carolina a and This is the nation's largest historically black university. They call it the GHOE, the greatest homecoming on earth. Mm. Right. And it literally is the greatest homecoming on earth. And you get lit at this <laughs> news right now. Well, it's not the news alumni wanted to hear. North Carolina A&T State University's homecoming celebration is now canceled. Economic losses of more than $10 million. The greatest million dollars homecoming on earth were canceled. And now alumni are coming to terms with what that means. This will be my first heel as an alumni. Everybody's disappointed. I had a homecoming canceled. Was that the right It was very difficult, and it still is. They said they were closing down one of the buildings. That's one thing, but homecoming? Oh, no! It's an uh, opportunity just gone, and, and I really hate it for the kids. Fine. Uh, surreal is, is an accurate description of what it feels like. Uh, Otherworldly, out of body, um, devastating, doesn't seem strong enough. A and T and the people who were there and what they'd been through and what they were willing to go through really gave me a new start on life. And I can't wait for my grandchildren to understand and to see what's going on so that they'll understand that they can't go forward in life without realizing what the past has been. From downtown, going down Phillips Avenue, and I saw the TV station over to my left, and I said to myself, I wonder who writes the things that those reporters say. So I wheeled up in there and walked in and, and I said, I'd like to apply for a job. And she said, a job? And she called the news director. He said, have you ever thought about being a reporter? And I said, yes. <laughs> the protest that I see on the air certainly remind me of how it was in the 60s when I was there. People come out with signs and, and all kinds of things, you know, saying Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter. Uh, it's, make, it's almost like it's waking me up. North Carolina is a battleground state. We got our first female mayor in Greensboro because of student votes. You know, we trying to turn the mother out in North Carolina. <laughs> Y'all can bleep that out if that wasn't, if that wasn't appropriate. <laughs> I wasn't quite the product of the streets, but I was of the streets. Going to uh, HBCU gave me my real first opportunity. I can pass that on to uh, some young uh, black African-American males um, that they perhaps would have the same opportunities that I was affording. It's amazing to know that they was right here doing exactly what I'm doing right now, and now they're in the league doing what I want to do. A&T reached out to me when nobody else did, so you know I feel like I owe A&T everything. The engineers and the science and the technology that comes out of that school is really second to none. Because we are so aligned, so strategic, demand for our graduates will be even more powerful so if we move through this pandemic and into the future. This Aggie pride, that's for real.
Don't go.